to bounce back after suffering an L in their first contest yesterday with uh, DeMeo Vanderhorst and company. Uh, it could very well uh, make or break their Olympic hopes here. And yeah, we're talking about uh, implications that big this early, only a second pool play game. That's what you need in leadership. 3x3 veteran. One of Edmonton's finest. You better believe it. What will they have against the Orange Lions? Man, that dude's a shooter, I can tell you that. He can put it up and get him to go down. Julian Jarin. There's no short of athleticism. He would tell you that there's no shortage in good looks. He's a male model, and he's also a male baller. Speaking of ballers, there's Arvin Slaughter. Slaughterhouse. Is that going to stick, or is it the butcher? Chime in. Hit me up, Netherlands peoples. What y'all like? <laughs> We're still working on a nickname for him. I like him. Dimes. Is, I mean, that's never going to change. DeMeo Vanderhorst, the last to enter the court. And there they are. All orange, we here. That's what they like to say. That's the slogan. We here. But now that you here, what you gonna do? It's all about getting those dubs. They are at a premium. The Netherlands coming off a 21-17 loss to uh, Latvia yesterday. Canada coming in here off an 18-14 win over Croatia. That was a hard-fought battle. These are two people working hard. Ref Edmund and Ref Yasmina, shout out, doing a great job. Shout out to our entire staff. You know, we've had to adjust on the fly. We've got a lot of moving parts going on. Uh, and <laughs> I mean, you name it, in the midst of uh, pandemic still, got COVID testing and all this different things. And uh, everybody doing such a good job of uh, managing and uh, presenting this uh, outstanding product here in this first ever Olympic qualifying tournament. So uh, I believe the guys are well rested. They, <laughs> I hope they got a, a close to eight hours of sleep. I don't know. I feel like we were on air eight hours ago. <laughs> I don't know if they got eight hours of sleep. They might have got five. Woke up, had a quick breakfast, and, and hustled over here to uh, <laughs> uh, to the court. Uh, speaking of the court, uh, let me thank our official suppliers, Indio, Magic Sky, Skeleton Sports. And we could never, ever, ever forget our ball and apparel sponsor, Wilson, our official timekeeper, T. So, as well, and uh, our local sponsors here as well. Oh, Red Bull, it gives you wings. All right. Time to dap it up. We're going to exchange pleasantries right here, right now. But it's about to get contentious. It's hard to be uh, friendly when you fight for an Olympic spot, right? Uh-huh, it's time to get to it. And here we are, right here, right now. Ball game is on. 10 minutes on the game clock. Superman Johnson trying to pick up where he left off. Quick move past Slaughter. And Arvin, Wilson for the foul. Look again, I like the aggression that we're seeing from a Superman Johnson. I can tell that, you know, this team has been in the lab. And when you look at Canada, you, you automatically think of the shooting of, of Steve Sir. Maybe is their the biggest weapon in their arsenal. But he's been given the green light, been aggressive, and I think it's uh, it's bode well for the Canadians. There's Kyle Landry getting in there and mixing it up. Jordan Jensen White's going to hand it off to Superman. And another whistle. This one against the Netherlands. They were holding 
As uh, you see, George Gibson White trying to squeeze through two defenders. They said, hold up, wait a minute. They got caught by the referees. Landry going to the drop step. I know he looks like uh, one of the Gasol brothers, but I checked his, uh, his information. That is actually Kyle Landry. He is not the third Gasol. I might need to check again. That resemblance is ridiculous. Superman from the corner. Bang, bang. He's responsible for Canada's first three points, as he was in their first pool play contest. Dimes, moving left, tries to go right. He lost the cookie. Juice, he's got it. He, gives, he was looking for Vaughn, but he got nowhere to go with it. Man, they ran out of time. They had him uh, on lock like Rasta here. All right, here we go now. George Jensen White working from that left elbow. He's got dimes in front of him, but for how long? A drop step game. We couldn't put him in the bucket. George Jensen White sticks with it. Superman, it's your world. He gives it up to the shooter, sir. Uh, he bricked it. Three nothing still. The Orange Lion still looking for that first bucket. Dimes, is he gonna give it to him? No, just a little strong on the turnaround, but uh, ball finds its way to Jesse Bourne. And he could not get it to go down for him. <laughs> okay, buck and a half in. Couple fouls apiece. Three nothing contest. Dimes over to Jesse Vaughn. Vaughn back to Dimes. Dimes, no hesitation. And also no make. See Vaughn defending, getting all up in Jordan Jensen White's space. Had <laughs> to be a little physical out there on the perimeter. I love it. JJ, I holla at you. Places to go, buckets to get. Four nothing. Canada foot on the gas from the jump here. Slockter hands it off to Dimes. They, they all discombobulated and confused. Dimes now, he says, okay, let's settle in here. He drives, he gets the scoop to go. Now people in the Netherlands can take a, take a breath. Okay, Martin's like, all right, we're settling in now. They put a hand up on Steve, sir. They say, no, sir, you're not welcome here, not yet. We need a bigger lead. First, they got to get the lead. Netherlands <laughs> trimming into it. It's four to two. Here's White. Oh, good defense there. Slockton. He's got the step. Uh, yeah, Kyle Landry. Snatched him up. Not so fast there. There's the first bucket there from uh, from the Netherlands. Dimes getting it done and. We got a 4-2 contest. Jesse. Jesse Vaughn. There's Slaughter. He can pull it, man. He is a gunner. He is just not finding his mark uh, so far here in Graz. Superman has he up fake, step through. Pardon me. That was a one. He was in front of that one point, I mean, in front of that two point mark. Nice arc on that shot. Wobbly, wobbly, drop, drop it like it's not. Slaughter makes it a one point game. Landry using that size. Oh, faker. Faker. <laughs> nice fake. And the score. Look at him hitting with the dream shake. Aye. What you gonna do with that? Six, four. All right. Team Canada. Six to four contest. We plan, but this ain't no joke. All right. Not giving away too much of the strategy in the uh, in the huddle there. 
But I do like that element that we can hear what the players are saying. Oh, right idea. I don't think that Jarring was prepared for that pass from Slaughter, but that action might have worked there. Meantime, Steve Sir. No, sir. Need some caffeine in the system or something. Steve Sir starting off slow here. He might not be a morning person. 6'4, that's okay. Superman Johnson's been carrying the load for him. Jordan Jensen White trying to get in uh, to the middle of the paint and got there, but he did not get a bucket. That's good defense from Juice. Dimes, yeah. Foul on the floor. Locked her. Nice drop step. Told Superman, get off me. He's trying to be the crypt tonight. Landry, point blank, miss. Down low, they go to Dimes. Oh, could have tied things up there. Netherlands showing some fight. You know how they made in Holland. They're not made to quit, that is for sure. Steve Sir, struggling to get loose. That's some good D. Yeah, Netherlands starting to really, really step it up on the defensive end. Look back at that last Slaughter make on the inside. Still a one-point difference. Canada, old Canada. In front, Vaughn kicks it. Juice couldn't get the squeeze, but he does get the rebound. Vaughn swings it over. Slaughter house, no. He's not welcome right now. Six, five, it stays. Fouls are beginning to accumulate. Canada has five of them. Netherlands with three. Not too bad there. We'll see if uh, Canada can sustain this charge that the Netherlands are making in the midst of Superman. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, no. That would have been nice if we made it, but you can't predict these things. Oh, Steve, sorry. Man, he is put on punishment for Jesse Vaughn. He can he gets it up the best he could do there. Oh, he's blocked by the backboard. Foul away from the ball. That's on Superman. And even Superman needs a rest. He's going to sit down. Six points and six fouls for Canada. So one more and they are in the penalty. So Netherlands, again, not in a bad position here. And certainly not in a bad position now because we're all even. It's like the game started over. 6-6, six, six, essentially 0-0. Zero, zero. Who wants it the rest of this 420 and count? George Jensen White fading. I thought he was fading at a, at a little bit faster pace than normal. That's because he got a shove. That was in the midst of the shot. A shooting foul. George Jensen White. He'll get an attempt here and try to break this 6 6 tie. And he's able to knock it down. See the Canadian coaching staff cheering, cheering their teams on. They're not coaching. And there's Bourne. The dude's a capable shooter. But he just hadn't been on display so far here. You do see, uh, you do see the word uh, Edmonton displayed on the front of uh, Canada's jerseys. I'll get you a couple of facts about Edmonton in a moment. As Superman gets to the crib. It's eight to six. You know, Edmonton is the home of the winningest team in competitive basketball. The Edmonton Brads women's team played from 1915 to 1940. 
Check out this record. They had an overall record of 502 and 20. <laughs> oh my goodness. There's one of Edmonton's finest. Steve Sarr, good position. And since that, the shot hasn't been necessarily falling from deep, uh, this is what you want to do. Get to the cup. Just need to see it fall through the hoop. Get that confidence back going, even if it means just knocking down a free throw. Sometimes that's the catalyst. Let's listen in on that Canadian hub. Guys, defense is going to win. Make smart plays on offense. Good boys. Clean up the boards. Hands out. They're giving us some benefit. Yeah. Yeah. Keep working, guys. Keep working. Let's finish it, guys. 330. 330. Good job. All right, here we go. Count on three. One, two, three. Down. Come on, dude. All right, we're about to see if it's a no, sir, or a yes, sir. Free throw. It is a yes, <laughs> sir. It is a two-point game, sirs. And oh. and misses. <laughs> or ma'ams. <laughs> it's early. Don't y'all be laughing at me. <laughs> Nine seven. Let's go. Jordan Jensen White. Steve. No sir. He ain't been told no this many times since he was a kid. Ask for candy. Oh, but that's okay. Superman Johnson's got permission. Permission to fire. Eleven eight. I see you, Superman. A big drip from the corner. Man. So he's uh, he's had a couple of twos, one from each corner. How good has he been? Superman Johnson. He's better in the morning, like that slice of pizza. The next day. I thought he started off good yesterday. He's he upped his game here in this one. Whether or not they're able to hold on or not, that's, that's still to be determined. It is it is only a three-point game. It is only a three-point game. We've seen Netherlands climb back in this thing. They got a little bit of a deficit to uh, try to erase here uh, right now. Jordan Jensen White trying to use that size. One-legged fader goes begging. 231 officially on the game clock left in this first game of an early three-game session. And once again, a reminder, we're rolling over three games into today uh, that would have been completed yesterday. Starts with this Canada-Netherlands game. Oh, there's Dimes. You see him pumping the fist. He knew they needed it. That was a big shot. Makes it a one-point game. Approaching the two-minute mark. It's crunch time. Superman, no heroics that time. Kyle Landry, Johnny on the spot. Uses that big size to get position to get the rebound. And he will shoot one. Six fouls apiece. No more to give. If they do happen to foul, two free throws will be the result. And Landry makes it count. A dozen to a dime. 12-10. Jesse Vaughn took it for a ride. But he couldn't make the lay. Sir, he just needs some space. He gets it down to Landry. Oh, nice. Can't just lead back out to three. Slochter, man, Landry was in some quicksand. You just had to watch him go by. Oh, oh. Double dribble call. Jordan Jensen White saying that he had it poked away. I think he tried to sell it. Good job. Juice, trying to set an off-ball screen. He dives to the bucket. Tough reverse attempt. No 
little juice that time. Steve Sir. Fired on it. Fired a blank. Good find there. Arvin Slochter, just like me and Lisa Leeson, he would find you. One point game. Canada still in front. Johnson, tough shot, took a bump on the way. Now he's got to try to D up on Dimes. Dimes, step through. I beg your pardon. 13-13 game. 45 ticks to play. Superman. Jordan. Oh! That was clutch like a stick shift. 15 to 13. Big shot from Jordan Jensen White. That's gonna get him some breathing room. Oh, and a hustle too. So a good sequence here from Jordan Jensen White. And now the ball is in the most dangerous man's hands on the court. In this game, it is Superman. He wasn't super on the shot, but man, that ball likes him. It found its way back to him. Only six seconds left. Netherlands forced to foul. That was the seventh. That'll put Steve Sir on the free throw line. And he could put this one away. I think he needs just one here to feel comfortable with this game being over with. The Orange Lions just praying for a miss. But that is Steve Sir. That free throw is like a layup. And the second free throw is good. Out of bounds, off of, uh, is that off Orange? Yeah, it is. Ref Edmund said so. And he won't hear anything else about it. So I'm wagging that finger. No, 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 no. Okay, okay. Well, a call he says, well, wait a minute. I'm, I will actually take a look. Out of bounds uh, challenge. I don't think it's going to matter uh, at this point, but I do obviously understand why the Netherlands would want to get another possession because points will matter. Let's listen. Or maybe not. We won't listen yet. We'll let them have that private conversation over at the scores table. But 0-2 um, does not end your hopes. It does make things very difficult. You're going to need some help, and you are certainly going to uh, need to win your final two games. So Netherlands. Oh, that's right before the horn. And the two-piece is good. So there you go, 17 to 15. Netherlands will be back, will be uh, back in action. The uh, tomorrow, not the day after tomorrow, both of these teams because they play day two, so they'll be playing day four. This is day three. Did you get all that? I hope so. Again, a, a rollover game from yesterday's action. We would have saw this one yesterday. Instead, we get a we get it to start the morning and a. Big win for Team Canada. They get it done yet again. So I mentioned that uh, that first win, 18 to 14 over Croatia. Okay. Now they come out here and pick up a win over the Orange Lions. Esteban standing in on the court side. Over to you. Uh, oh, it's close, damn it. <laughs> Steve, always a tough game against the Dutch squad. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, that's a team that always gives us a lot of trouble and, and makes our lives really difficult. And uh, I, I wish I could say something rude about it, but I can't. They're, they're such a well-coached team. They prepare so hard. And uh, we, were, we knew we had to come in here and play a really good game to beat them because they're one of the top teams in the world. After the rain break yesterday, how did the, all the weather conditions affect the mentality of the team? Well, it's nice when the sun comes out a little bit. So uh, we, we were happy to wake up and see some blue sky and, and a, little bit of a little bit of a change from yesterday. And we had a quick turnaround, but we were really excited to play. We spent enough time in the hotel talking about the things we needed to do. And we wanted to get out here and play and compete. And we're just, uh, we're really fortunate that we got to do that this morning. 
Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Hi, Izzy. Hi, Lila. <laughs> that was funny. Oh, yeah. uh, first of all, Kyle Landry trying to, trying to give uh, Steve Sir the Gatorade uh, shower or whatever that was. <laughs> and his bottle was empty. Womp, womp, womp. <laughs> funny. Uh, no laughing matter, though, for Netherlands. Uh, they start 0-2. Canada, though, sitting pretty. Uh, as of right now, at least, as they are 2-0 to start pool play. Here's a look back at how things went down. Uh, Netherlands with a little bit of a sluggish start in this one. Just a little bit. We did see them climb back in it, but it seemed like uh, every time they got close, Canada would make a big play, whether it be Jordan Jensen White or whether it be uh, Alex Johnson, who was really the catalyst to their whole machine in this game. Uh, even Kyle Landry making some big plays there. Steve, sir, not to be forgotten. Uh, he, he actually iced the game at the free throw line. Was able to get, uh, get a couple to go down. That shot wasn't necessarily falling, but that's when you adjust your game. That's when you draw attention and uh, set up your teammates. Just like that last pass to Landry. Arvin Slochter is going to cruise in. And uh, also dropped a dime. Two dimes. 13 to 12 game at that point. But you saw that energy coming from the Canadian coaching staff. No coaching, just energy.